Welcome back to another episode of the 9mm Ammo Quest, where I'm looking for the best performing self-defense ammo from today's pocket pistols. Looking for a 3-inch barrel. What will perform best from that? And today's candidate, a little bit interesting, I think, Winchester PDX1 in the 124 grain plus P variety. And Winchester likes to advertise that PDX1 is the duty load of the FBI. And seeing as I'm testing to the standards that the FBI set as far as penetration guidelines through professional organic ballistic gel, uh, you know, you'd almost wonder why am I bothering to test? Obviously PDX1 will pass the test. Well, the FBI doesn't use three inch pocket pistols, okay? They're using full size duty pistols. I wanna know if this will perform well from a three inch barrel, the kind of pocket pistol that are very common nowadays. So we'll find out if PDX1 does well, but while we're at it, I'm also gonna put in Ranger Bonded. This is law enforcement ammo, which near as I can tell, it uses the exact same bullet and the velocity is almost identical. When you look at the rated velocity, we've got 1180 for the Ranger, 1200 for PDX1. So what's the difference? Well, one difference I can tell you is the Rangers are a lot less expensive than the PDX1. So if it really is the same bullet and if the ammo performs well, you know, if it's six of one, half dozen of the other, then we'll have a pretty good answer there that, you know, just go with the Ranger and save your money. But if PDX1 outperforms it, then that'll be a result. We'll know that. And if neither one of them do well, well, we want to know that too. So we're going to get to the range. We're going to try this out. We're going to use bear gel and also four layers of IWBA specification denim. And we're going to find out which, if either of these is suitable for your self-defense pistol. So PDX1, Ranger, fight! So the bear gel, the PDX1, all met the minimum we were looking for. 12 inches, 12 inches, and 12 and a quarter inches. Through the bear gel, the Rangers delivered good penetration. 11 and three quarters inches, 12 inches, 11 and three quarters inches. Not quite meeting the minimum, but very close. Through the denim, PDX1 penetration was really very, very good. 14 and three quarters inches, 15 and a quarter inches, and 17 inches. The Ranger, good and bad. 15 and a quarter inches, 16 and a half inches, and a highly over-penetrating 22 inches. And the bullet exam here really tells the story. When you look at the bear bullets, yeah, there's pretty much no doubt. These are the same bullet. They performed exactly the same. The speed difference caused a little bit of difference, but as far as the bear gel, bullets go, I think they're pretty much exactly the same and the penetration was almost identical between the two. So in bear they're fine. In denim we have a problem. The rangers, we had one that plugged up and totally failed to expand. We had two that only partially expanded. None of those are actually satisfactory. And while these two did stop before 18 inches, they, they all the denim bullets easily exceeded the 12. These two did stop before the 18. This one didn't. This grossly over penetrated to 22. Not happy with that at all. Not happy with the denim performance of the Rangers. The PDX-1 was better. Two of the three performed properly. Uh, all of the penetration was good, but this one is only a partial expander. And it, what it tells me is that the velocity is just too low on these rounds, on, on all of them. If the velocity had been higher, if we'd been using a 4.6 inch barrel like a Glock 17 or something, I'm sure these would all have been fantastic. We would have gotten performance like this out of every one of them. But because we're using a 3 inch barrel, we got partials and failures and, and a partial here and an over penetrator. So there's no doubt in my mind is which one of these is the winner of these two. The PDX-1 is definitely the better performer from the short barrel than the Ranger is. But there's also no doubt in my mind that neither of these is actually a winner for a three inch barrel. This is decent. I mean, this at least it didn't under penetrate here, but it's not great. All right, we got our answers and uh, I wouldn't use either of them. If I had to pick, I'd go with PDX-1. It was a little faster. It, it Okay, I guess I'm gonna say it suffered less through the shorter barrel than Ranger did, but neither one of these appear to have been designed for the shorter barrel, so why use them? If you've already got PDX-1, it's okay. It did okay, it did meet the guidelines. My problem with it is other rounds have done a lot better. It's your wallet, it's your gun, you can use whatever you want in it. I would want to be using the best, and from a full-size pistol, maybe this is fantastic, but from the pocket pistol, didn't really get there. And the Ranger just, it's not really suitable didn't really perform well. So 
Uh, thanks for playing. PDX1 is the better of the two, but neither one of them would make it in my winner's circle. So, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed what you saw. If you did, hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when the next video is posted.